<clears throat> Yo, what up, street gods? Eric Kim. So, just uh, got my swan on the park ride. Some some turbo thoughts. Why do you care so much about views? Is allegedly thing. Why do you care for subscribers, views, social proof? Like our best friend Kanye said, I'm checking Instagram comments to crowdsource my self-esteem. And ironically enough, Kanye didn't even have an Instagram when he made the, the rap line, but essentially he's kind of coming across this interesting uh, problem. My, my friend uh, Soren Aldrich says it pretty good, is that like, social media is malware for the mind. You know like, remember Bonzi Buddy in the 90s on Windows? It's like fucking, you think that's helping you, but actually it's kind of hurting you. It's like kind of hijacking your brain in very bad ways. And so that's why with ours, oursbeta.com, I've been kind of working with the squad to make an antidote to it because, I mean, it's, it's one thing to just kind of complain about and bemoan X, Y, and Z, but it's another thing to actually go out and try to, to change it. So the basic gist of ours was a double blind experiment where when you upload a picture, the other person don't know who you is and you don't actually know who they are too. Now, certainly there's no such thing as perfect feedback, but at least the feedback you're getting it's a little bit more genuine and honest because you know you upload a photo to Instagram, Facebook, just get a bunch of people like it just for the sake of it. But when you do it with friends and family, same thing, right? Friends and family, they'll just tell you it's nice. But with ours, at least the feedback you're getting is actually uh, far, far more genuine. So my basic, as well, man, um, is kind of trying to promote an anti-view mentality or an anti-social mentality where it's not about maximizing your views because once again, you know, let's say you get 100,000 views with a bunch of randoms, a bunch of random people, like why do you really care for that? But yo, let's imagine five people saw your video, you just got five views on your video, but one of those people was Jay-Z or Kanye, certainly that would have much more clout than if you have a quadrillion followers. And so I find this very toxic thing in social media, you know, it's talking about like, you know, we talk about like toxic, masculinity and stuff like that. Yo, how come no one's talking about social media toxicity? I mean, social media is the worst, you know, I actually consider social media to probably be the worst societal ill right now because if you're externalizing your self-esteem via likes and faves and, you know, followers, it's almost like showing the whole world your, your public bank account status or revealing to the whole world your dick size. I mean, like, these are things that a lot of people don't like to reveal in public. And certainly to just follow metrics as an externalization of your self-worth is kind of a bad thing. So my basic gist is this. Don't care about the views. Very simple. So even now, it's just like, oh, you know, like, Eric, you, you only get like 20 views on your video. I'm like, bro, like, I'm doing YouTube to fucking maximize my views, because I don't put on, I don't put on ads. Like, for me, I do YouTube videos, or I do videos and vlogs and blogs and stuff like that, because like, I genuinely care. It's what I'm passionate about. And as a consequence, At least what I'm saying is a little bit more, like, meaningful, I suppose. It's more substantive. You know, they talk a lot about, like, content marketing. I, like, I mean, when people talk about content, yeah, I kind of get it. But to me, it's quite disrespectful. To me, content is kind of that, like, pink sludge that they use to make the McDonald's cheese, chicken McNuggets. And, you know, I think it's a fake video, but that's essentially the gist. So, I kind of think more about, like, substance or meaning or you know, depth, right? Like, a lot of people, yo, Eric, why are you asking such a deep personal question? I'm like, bro, like, that's all I'm interested in. Like, why would I talk about superficial stuff, right? Like, we we all kind of agree that superficial people are cool, cool, bad people, but you never meet nobody who is actually, uh, is deep. And deep depth is better. Like, you know, if you're drilling for oil, typically the deeper you drill, the better. And, you know, Nassim Taleb quotes a Venetian proverb, the sea goes deeper the further you go into it, which is a very eloquent way of uh, putting it. So basically the idea is life and everything in between is far more fun and interesting when you plumb the depths, when you go deeper. Like, you know, Inception, right? We must go deeper. 
<laughs> Which is a great movie, by the way. I highly recommend rewatching it, right? Shout out to uh, Christopher Nolan, use the genius, right? So, and he actually wrote the, he wrote the, the screenplay too. You know, props to him. I might, I might actually Google and um, search the, the screenplay. So, um, when it comes to creating anything, like essentially when you ask for feedback, when you're uploading a video and you're caring about the views and likes and stuff like that, you know, people are like, oh, you know, I wanna see if it's good or not, metrics, blah, blah, yo. Honestly, this is, this is why, I think I figured it out. When you ask, like, not, 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 not everyone, right? But typically when you ask others for feedback or you're looking for views or followers or likes or how many views you got in it, what you're trying to do is actually you're, let's say, you know, ask for feedback. You're essentially asking the other person, you're telling the other person, I don't actually have enough uh, confidence that whether this is good or not, I need you to validate what I think is good or not. And uh, shout out to my friend, uh, Satoki Nagata. Um, he had a quote for me, like, I, you know, I showed him a bunch of pictures back in the day, and he's like, I'm like, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think? He's like, what do you, you think? And I was like, Whoa, I never, I never asked myself that question. So it's, it's kind of funny, right? Because very rarely are we ever, rarely do we frequent our own opinion of what we do. And we're always seeking for external uh, affirmation. And I think I, the reason why we do that is we live in this like utilitarian Christian morality kind of society where your self-worth is only externalized to others. Like, um, contrary to popular belief, America, we're actually not really that individualistic or independent. We're only individualistic from a capitalism consumerism way, right? Like, yo, what do you drive, bro? She's like, you got a Benz, you got a Mercedes, got a Ferrari, got a Lambo, whatever it is. But you as actually a truly unique individual, like whether you, you know, walk around streets without your top on or whether you, you share your ideas are aberrant, you're not allowed to do that. And so modern society in America and I think much of the world too, hugely intolerant towards aberrant ideas. And this is why I'm such a huge fan of like Montessori education and essentially like things and platforms which allow for aberrant thinking. And so certainly all the really great innovations done in the world, like, you know, Tesla, Elon Musk, Kanye, Jay-Z, you know, Steve Jobs, they all had a deep singular vision and they weren't willing to compromise their vision. And certainly the rest of the world called them crazy. But dude, do you remember just like the other day when people, oh, you know, Elon can't make the, 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 the Model 3? And there's so, so many like, you know, kind of nasty people just kind of wishing his downfall. But I'm like, why don't you just like root the man on, right? And he pulled it off. He made the Model 3, obviously the engineers and everyone involved. But he pulled it off. And now people are, oh yeah, but still. Da, da, da. So like, there's so much toxicity, so much negativity. And what I'm trying to advocate for is a more, it's a society where we care less about other people's opinions. We consult our own opinions a little bit more. And so I say, give a, to the views. Um, consult your own view and do what I do. Just upload the videos, never look at the stats. I never look at the stats because it depresses me. You know, I'm only human, right? So, um, but even now, let's say I upload a bunch of videos and each, each of the videos, let's say it only gets two views. To me, those two views are still worth it because, yo, what if one of these views totally changes a kid's life, like a kid in the hood who watches my YouTube video and totally changes his outset and his outlook to reality? and he ends up becoming a super epic individual or like you know somebody who's super depressed or trying to find more meaning in life as long as you i could just deeply influence one people or two people even one other human being yo so th this is a new goal if you upload something you get at least two views on a video or at least one view on a video you've kind of done your job